So there are a few occasions where the person I purchase stuff from doesn't want to appear in a video, and that's understandable, and uh, that is the case here. Uh, so in lieu of the person who sold this material standing by me, we have gone on the road and decided to film this video in a very apropos place. I am standing uh, outside of Nat Bailey Stadium, which is an iconic uh, ballpark and a piece of real estate in Vancouver that carries great memories, whether you're 15 years old or 95 years old. Reason being that this collection contains material from the Vancouver Mounties and the Vancouver Capilanos and the Vancouver Canadians, all of which played their games at this stadium. Most of this material comes from the secretary of the Booster Club for the Vancouver Mounties and the Capilanos and the Canadians who accumulated this stuff over decades. It spans uh, the early 50s right through to the early 80s. This um, is a Vancouver Mounties uh, baseball bat that is team signed. It's dated from 1967. I don't know the background of this, whether this was in an executive's office or this hung on the stadium wall somewhere inside here back in the day. I do know that it's an amazing piece with unbelievable eye appeal. I love the fact that it's dated. The Louisville Slugger is so rich in history and, as I say, team signed. Um, another example, there are other bats in the collection. Um, I'm just giving some highlights here. This is Doug Lohman, who played for the Vancouver Canadians and spent a couple of years in the major leagues with, I believe, the Milwaukee Brewers. The thing that I love, not only is this a game-used Louisville Slugger bat, but it's got his nickname written in, on the knob, Low. I love that. The heart and soul of the collection, though, is a vast amount of autographed baseballs. And uh, I'm assuming that uh, Don Sutton, who is a Hall of Famer, had a particular uh, affection for the person who accumulated all of these. Uh, to Christy, I love you, Don Sutton. Very nice. Uh, this is an idea of the scope of the baseballs. Team signed. I'm assuming most of these are Vancouver related balls, but it's possible other teams could be in here. And uh, it's just no matter what you pick, you get a rich amount of, uh, of history. Someone held this in their hand and threw it 95 miles an hour. It hit a catcher's glove and an hour later it was in a dugout and the players were passing it around and signing it while uh, chewing tobacco. This looks like a really old one, although it could have just rolled through a big pile of dirt. Looks great though. Another just example of the uh, array of material here. When we open up the box, phenomenal stuff. So whether you have autographed baseballs, game used bats, old helmets, old pictures, old programs, it doesn't matter. Give me a call, 604-726-1774. Go on the website, which is uh, www.aasportscards. Visit my YouTube channel. Give me a call, sell me your stuff, and uh, thank you for watching this video.